Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for clicking on this video and watching it. It really means a lot to me. And before I get this video started, before I forget, I just want to thank everyone that's been watching my videos and everyone that's been sharing the links on their social media platforms. I really appreciate it, you guys. You have no idea how much it means to me and I pray and hope that you guys will continue <laughs> to do so. And please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to this channel, to this video. Bring that good energy, bring that good vibe. You know what I'm saying? So without further, f oh Jesus, this again. Without further ado, yes. Without further ado, let's get right into this video. I mentioned in one of my videos how I started my health journey um, probably like last year and just doing research from that I really learned a lot of stuff that I shouldn't have been I learned about a lot of stuff that I shouldn't have been consuming and I really just wanted to share this with you guys because I know that there are a lot of people out there who will eat stuff thinking that they're actually being healthy when in actual fact they're not and a lot of these things was such an eye-opener for me and how you really need to do your research when you are like taking charge of your life and taking charge of what it is that you're consuming all right so foods you think are healthy but actually aren't <laughs> baby girl baby girl the first one is granola that's right granola is not healthy as you know also let me just say when i say it's not healthy um i don't mean like it's horrible but what i do want you to take from this is that i don't want you to think you're eating it and being healthy so store bought granola let me be specific store bought granola you'll think you're fine but in actual fact you're not because there's a lot of sugar that they put into it to make it taste nice they'll to make it taste nice they'll put in things like corn syrup whatever syrup just to make it look nice uh, and taste nice as well that's why it's so sweet when you're eating it and they also add in um oils not any but they will use certain types of oils that are not healthy for you and you'll think that you're eating it being healthy because i mean it's oats why not it's oats but in actual fact you're not being healthy and this those things add up and they contribute to making it count to a lot of calories so the sugar the oils Oats is healthy and it'll give you the fiber that you need, but those two combinations are not very good for you. So what I suggest is that you start making your own granola. I'll hook you up. I make my own granola. If you haven't seen some of my Instagram stories, it's very, very simple to make your own granola. So granola, watch out, girl. Watch out. You'll think you're being fine. And the thing is, you know the thing is, this, they'll, they'll say a serving and the serving honestly is not filling so they'll probably say something like 30 grams per serving recommended serving whatever nobody's gonna eat 30 grams of granola like really i mean no so it's got like hydrogenated oils and everything so you really really want to stay away from that or just make sure that you really read the label and when i mean the label i mean the ingredients and the nutritional table that they normally put at the back so yeah okay the next food that you may think is healthy but it actually isn't hate to say it hate to break it but it is granola bar cereal bar breakfast bar energy bar whatever bar you want to call it those things are really not healthy for you and i used to love these like you know those like jungle oats bars or those kellogg's bars those things are not healthy they are just like the granola those things have sugar in them tons and tons of sugar in them and they need to be they need to taste nice if that thing tastes disgusting who's going to buy it i mean 
no one's going to buy it so they need to pack those things with like sugar and saturated fats just to make those things stay together and to also preserve it because while it's sitting there on the shelf how else do you think that thing is lasting however many days i thought so so try try and stay away from them it's so easy to make protein bars nowadays it really really is not difficult there's so many recipes on the internet if you'd like me to like make a recipe on how to make a protein bar let me down let me know in the comment section down below it's not difficult and you can keep these things and eat them but at least you'll know what the ingredients inside of them are and it's not things that are unhealthy so just yeah the next food that you think is healthy but isn't this may come as a shocker to some people this may be obvious to some people but those fruit juices mm -hmm. sugar 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 and sugar i mean why they're also unhealthy the other reason why fruit juice is unhealthy is the fact that you'll probably get like let's say 500 mils in that 500 mils there's probably not even that much fruit in it or if there is it's probably equivalent to like seven oranges i don't want to say who eats seven oranges at one time but to drink that every day eating seven oranges every single day that is definitely not healthy for you because that is a lot of sugar and the worst thing is that because it's fruit juice there's no fiber in it what fiber does is that it it helps your body digest the sugar slowly so that it doesn't spike up your insulin levels so if you are now drinking this fruit juice and i mean store-bought fruit juice you are spiking up your insulin levels your blood sugars all over the place and it's just we all know that sugar is not bad it causes cancer it causes many other disease lifestyle diseases that you don't want to find yourself having so the other thing is that um these so-called uh veggie juices same category as the fruit juice unfortunately what they do with that is that a lot of the time they will hike up the sugar con the sugar um content and i mean by sugar content i mean like increased fruits or whatever so they'll add your kale they'll add your spinach and then they'll add like tons of apples chances are there isn't even that much spinach or even that much kale in the bottle anything that's store-bought has sugar and preservatives and a lot of the time that is not good for you make your own juices at home come on guys it's, it's not that difficult and also juices juices are not that expensive nowadays you can find ones that are fairly cheap and can get the job done so put that put that juice down and i know a lot of us have this habit like maybe we'll go somewhere and there's like cool drink and juice and let me take the juice because it's the healthier option you might as well take the cold boo like it's the same thing honestly the next thing which falls into the same category as the fruit juices and the um uh, veggie juices whatever is pre-made smoothies okay the ones that you get at the shop put it down put it down it's got so much sugar and that's the thing with these things and that's why they'll always taste great like who like i remember the one time i bought beetroot juice no joke that thing was sweet like that thing was like hella sweet and i know beetroot can be like a tinge sweet but that thing tasted like it had sugar in it like it had a lot of sugar in it and it was beetroot juice and i was just like what the heck is going on it's the same thing with the smoothies they will pack them and those things probably really don't even have a lot of fruit in them and it's just got other things to i mean honestly guys how can you when i make myself a smoothie right let's make an example when i make myself a smoothie in my own home if i leave it in the fridge for let's say maybe overnight which i do because i prepare my smoothies like the night before um and then i take it to work the next day depending on what type of smoothie i've made a lot of the times it will become it will discolor it will become slightly brown or brown or whatever it'll become a slightly offish color this thing is sitting in the fridge that color is pink 
pink as can be. And you're telling me that thing is okay. Reevaluate your life, sis. Reevaluate your life. The next thing, or things rather, let me say, that you think are healthy, but they aren't. Anything labeled vegan, anything labeled gluten free, anything labeled organic. A lot of the times, I mean, honestly, this is if you're someone who's um, with the gluten free, if you're gluten free and tolerant, it's cool. You can eat the stuff. But if you're someone who's not like gluten free or gl like gluten intolerant, stay away from that stuff, especially if you're trying to lose weight. Do you want to know why? Because a lot of the time, gluten free stuff, it doesn't taste like, you know, I remember I bought um, gluten free, you know, um, what are these muffins ones? And I was trying, you know, oh, you know, I want to be healthy. I want to be healthy. That thing was disgusting. I'm not even going to lie. That thing was disgusting. And it, but it was sweet at the same time. So the thing is that they will try compensate for the taste by adding in these sugars, by adding in these oils, which basically make up empty calories. And you think you'll, you're thinking that you, you'll eat healthier, but it doesn't mean that it's healthy. Read the labels. A lot of the times, these three things, the vegan, the gluten-free, and the organic, they'll have like a big sign in front of it saying gluten-free, or vegan and you'll think that it's healthy read the labels okay the next thing that i had to wean myself off i i genuinely did um because i mean we grew up eating these things guys it's cereal cereal is genuinely genuinely full of sugar even that one sis that has the bran even that one that says it has the high fiber the high whole wheat the high whatever wheats and holes and whatever things you want to count in there that will make you go to the toilet and do do and whatever they need to compensate for the taste and a lot of the times they will add sugar in cereal and i think the worst thing is that they advertise these things using children going to school saying it's got vitamin b and what what I, they may they may have all those things but chances are they have just as much sugar so the thing also with cereal is that it's not like <sighs> that thing man it's not solid so literally it like flows away after and after you've eaten it like after an hour and the thing with cereal is that you have to eat like a huge bowl before you actually feel satisfied and you eat it with milk and now milk also has its other things it has sugar inside it's got whatever other preservatives they put inside try and eat things that are like whole foods things that are not processed things like overnight oats your girl has a video over overnight oats make sure to check that out if you're someone who wants to move away from eating um cereal i used to eat cereal so much and the thing at the back of the box it'll say recommended serving 60 grams do you know how small 60 grams is you're going to be eating twice that or three times that serving which means you are getting even more sugar in and i know how people are i used to be like that some people will even add sugar table sugar into this into the cereal which makes it even worse sugar is not good for you it is not your friend and you really need to control how much of it you you eat or how much of it you consume make sure that it's natural sugars and I'm speaking to myself as well, like, it's deep, fam, it's deep. The next thing, anything that's sugar-free is probably not sugar-free. And what I mean by that is that they add artificial, artificial sweetness in there. And they contain something called aspartame, and it is linked to cancer. So if you see something that says zero sugar, but it's sweet like that diet cool drink or sugar-free cool drink that you're drinking, you might as well drink the other one because it's just as bad, honestly. And artificial, artificial sweeteners are also linked to um, making you gain weight. So you're really not doing any justice for yourself. You might as well drink the other stuff like it's 
it's tough out here so when it says sugar free read that label says chances are it doesn't it has an artificial sweetener which a lot of the times is not good for you okay okay the next food that you think is healthy but isn't oh my goodness i'm reprimanding myself with this one because i genuinely love this it's been my favorite snack lately dried fruit i'm addicted okay i wouldn't say addicted but i i am in love with dried mangoes and they know how to do the damn things let's just say that but the reason why they are unhealthy is because when you dry fruit right okay let's take a fruit right you take a fruit and um it's got it's whole it's got the juices in it which is like the water when you dry it you're basically dehydrating it so when you're dehydrating it you're taking away um what is it you're taking away the the moisture the juice the water whatever you want to call it and in turn the concentration of the sugar levels increase right so when they've increased now they dry it and they put preservatives on there that like some of them contain sulfur dioxide which is also not good for you um they will leave them there when you eat them you are eating something that's highly concentrated in sugar and with with it being highly concentrated in sugar obviously it's not good for you next thing anything that says low fat or fat free what do i mean by this when you have fat i know this is gonna sound you know like <laughs> i don't know but when you have fat a lot of the time fat equates to flavor just um, let me make an example about milk you know how you'll have like full cream milk and then you'll have fat free milk fat flat fat free milk oh my gosh fat free milk which tastes nicer the full cream right because it feels like it's it's thick man it does the things and the skim milk or the fat free milk feels like water you know it just it doesn't have the flavor which is exactly the same thing so then what they'll do to the fat free stuff or the low or low fat stuff is that they will they will add things like salt sugar additives just to try to bring back that life that was taken out of the fat. Exactly the same. And what does that mean? Empty calories again. What is this? People who drink um, nut milk don't think you're exempt from this because a lot of companies make sweetened versions of nut milks, which I personally do not personally don't like buying unless there's like nothing else in the store i prefer buying the unsweetened version or just make your own nut milk it's actually quite easy the last thing that i will mention um the last food that i will mention is salad dressing okay i know we all love salad dressing but that thing is not healthy because they add bad fats for you they add sugar in there they add preservatives in there and they just are empty calories if you are making a salad and you pour that thing on top chances are your salad ha now has even more calories and you think that it's healthy which it is you're getting good stuff but if you're trying to lose weight it's bad for you because that's that means added calories that you may not even take into consideration that's just how it is and even all these salads that you get at a restaurant your especially your fast food restaurant your fast food restaurants anything that has a drive through and you buy a salad and you think oh i'm eating healthy you know no babes no babes that that salad dressing which i make my own salad dressings all the time it really doesn't even take two seconds guys it's genuinely genuinely easy Alrighty, and that's it for today's video there are so many other foods that i could have named but the list is so long that i will 
this video will be too long <laughs> if I continue. So what I'm basically trying trying to drive home with this video is that do your research, guys. Make sure that before you buy something, you read the labels. I will stand at a shop. I will stand in the shop and read the labels, the nutritional information, as well as the ingredients, just to see the stuff that I'm putting into my bodies. And a lot of the times, don't, like don't trust what is in the front of the label because that's just marketing that's just advertising so you can take the thing and pay for it without looking you teach yourself how to eat foods that are whole things that are less processed and try and minimize the I, I challenge you actually try and minimize the amount of food that you eat that's processed and you'll be so surprised to actually realize how much of the food that you consume is processed try and decrease it and your body will thank you for it your body will feel healthier you'll feel less tired and that's just what i'm trying to drive home with this take care of your bodies guys make sure you know what you're putting into your body look after yourself okay so i will see you guys in the next video and also please just comment if you know of anything else that i did not mention in this video that people think are healthy or is healthy but isn't let's sit down in the comments below let's help each other let's share information we all want to grow we all want to be healthy we all want to live well we all want to be the best version of ourselves so i really hope that you enjoyed it don't forget to comment like subscribe 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 press that button so i would re really appreciate it if you did share this video and i will see you guys in the next one thank you so much for clicking to watch this video Bye.